Welcome everyone. I'm Ed Wolf, Central Kitsap County Commissioner to Commissioner's Corner. Today is actually July 21st and could be the first unofficial day of summer. That's why I have these sunglasses on because it's sunny here on the gazebo located at the beautiful Silverdale Waterfront Park. Today I have uh, two very special people with me. I have uh, Mayor, uh, Mayor Patty Lent from Bremerton and I have Mayor Val Tolson from Bainbridge Island. And they're gonna tell us a little bit about uh, the cooperation and talk to us about the cooperation between the county and, and the two cities. So stay tuned. Come back very soon because we're gonna be back with uh, two mayors who are gonna tell us about their cities and, and how we work so well together. Welcome back to Commissioner's Corner. With me, as I said I would have, I've got Mayor Tolleson from Bainbridge Island, who today is going to talk a little bit about Bainbridge Island and the cooperation between our two, uh, between the county and, and uh, Bainbridge Island. Uh, welcome, Val. Can Thanks, I, Ed. Can, can I call you Val? Great I guess, to be I guess here. I can now, can I? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about, number one, yourself before we start. Who, who are you? How did you get involved in the politics in Bainbridge? And, and uh, let the public know what you do and, and the council does. Well, like you, Ed, I'm a lawyer by training, but unlike you, I'm recovering. <laughs> uh, I'm still recovering. <laughs> I uh, moved to Bainbridge Island almost 40 years ago and got uh, pretty involved in community uh, affairs right from the beginning, but never involved in politics. And then in 2012, I was fortunate enough to be on the editorial board of the Kids okay. Sun. Okay. And that was an election year. And uh, so we had the opportunity to interview a lot of politicians. And in the downtime, uh, the other members of the editorial board educated me on the sorry state of politics on Bainbridge Island. Okay. So uh, when in the 2013 I was approached uh, to possibly run for city council, okay. Okay. Um, I jumped at the chance and here we are. Okay. And explain to us, Val, if you would, you're the mayor, does, does that revolve? How does, how does that work in terms of uh, election or appointment in, with Bainbridge Island? So a little, uh, little bit of history. Um, uh, Bainbridge Island was unincorporated mm -hmm. Kitsap County mm -hmm. for a long time. And then in 1947, the town of Winslow incorporated. Um, and in 1991, uh, Winslow, um, um, uh, collected the rest of Bainbridge Island uh, and changed its name to the city of Bainbridge yeah. Island. Yeah. Um, things plugged along happily for the next seven or eight years and then uh, the, the voters decided that they'd like to change their form of okay. government. So we have a city manager form of government and the administration of the city is in those professional hands. Okay. Okay. So the city council um, elects a mayor from mm -hmm. its own uh, membership uh, and that happens on a two-year basis okay. so uh, I was elected at the beginning of this year and will serve for the next year and a half. Good and we serve on quite a few um, boards together yes, so we do we see each other more now that we I've been doing this for a year and a half but I seem like I see you every every week or two. Yeah. And it's yeah. A, so talk to me or the public if you would about it's a big word but I'll try to explain it, the demographics of Bainbridge Island. Oh I say that because I know you commuted for years as a lawyer to, to Seattle, and someone said there are more lawyers on, on Bainbridge Island than there are uh, most other professions, but I don't know that for certain. Tell us about the demographics. Who, how many live in the Winslow area? How many live outside the Winslow area? Just a little bit about the population, if you would. I didn't know this was gonna be a test. <laughs> there so, is no test. So, Bainbridge Island uh, population currently is just shy of 24,000. Okay, okay. And just for reference, that puts us um, um, kind of midway between Paulsbo and mm -hmm. Bremerton mm -hmm. is more than twice okay. as much. Paulsbo okay. is a little less than half as much. Um, we've got the, the island is uh, 28 square miles. Mm -hmm. uh, the city of Bremerton is 32 square miles. Okay. Um, we've got 53 miles of shoreline. 
Um, we have uh, a large population that commutes to Seattle, mm -hmm. uh, but if you've traveled mm -hmm. highway 305 mm -hmm. during the commuter hours in the morning, mm -hmm. you also understand that a lot of those people are coming from Paulsbo and yeah. Silverdale yeah. and making the trip to Seattle. Yeah. Um, we're, um, uh, I take exception to the lawyer population. I thought they were all stockbrokers, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we're, we're thought of as, um, as a city made up of, of uh, commuters to Seattle mm -hmm. and retired mm -hmm. people. Uh, but uh, just for context, we've got uh, 3,500 public school students wow, out wow. of our 24,000 population mm -hmm. uh, attending uh, six public schools, okay. several excellent private schools on the island. Um, quite a diverse population in terms of um, uh, where people are going okay. and what they're doing. Yeah. Very interesting. I mean, this is. I wanted to have this segment with the different mayor, the four mayors, because I wanted the public to see uh, how we work together. And because we're all in one county. I mean, you mentioned the population and demographics of Bainbridge Island, uh, the Kitsap County. We've got uh, 260,000 plus people, including Bainbridge, of course. Uh, we've got shorelines of about. I think 400 miles, but it's all our county, all of our county together. So uh, it's good that we can work together the way we do. Talk to me, if you would, about the again the form of government of Bainbridge Island. You talked about city manager. Uh, as you know, the the county commission or the Kitsap County government is made up of three elected commissioners, um, north, south, and central. I'm a year and a half into my four years, and. Uh, we, we have legislative and executive responsibility, and I'd have to say budgetary responsibility for the county. Tell us a little bit more about uh, the form of government and how it works on Bainbridge, please. So Bainbridge Island has a city manager form of government. So we have uh, seven, a seven-person city council. Mm -hmm. uh, the island is divided into three districts. We call them wards, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there are two uh, members of the city council elected mm -hmm. from each of the three wards yeah. mm -hmm. um, on a rotating basis and then one elected at large. Okay. Uh, in fact, everybody on Bainbridge Island votes for each of the okay. positions. It's just you have to live in one of the wards okay. in order to qualify. Okay. Um, the city council has uh, uh, responsibility for setting policy mm -hmm. and adopting budgets. Okay. And the city manager has the administrative responsibility. He okay. hires and fires the staff okay. um, and manages the affairs of the city. Of the city. Uh, he's hired and, and uh, supervised by the city council. Unlike Bainbridge, or unlike Bremerton. Unlike yeah. Bremerton, yeah. all yeah. the other, Paulsbo, Bremerton, and Fort Orchard all have elected mayors yeah. Yeah. and they have administrative yeah. responsibility for their city. And we'll hear more about that from Mayor Lint in the near, very near future. If you would, can you address or tell the public uh, some of the priorities and or initiatives uh, specific to Bainbridge Island as, as we speak today? Well, um, a couple years ago, the city council uh, spent a good deal of time adopting a priority-based budgeting mm -hmm. process. Mm -hmm. And so we've kind of formalized mm -hmm. our mm -hmm. kind of global policy uh, priorities in that fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but in terms of the things that are immediately happening, uh, like... Uh, uh, a number of other cities were in the depths of mm -hmm. our comprehensive plan update, which has been an incredibly uh, time-consuming and mm -hmm. uh, really rewarding number of people involved mm -hmm. uh, process okay. over the okay. last year. Okay. Uh, we're trying to build a new police station, and I think we'll actually uh, accomplish that or accomplish a, a major step toward it this, this year. Um, and you've got a very strong police chief and yeah, very involved in this we community. We do. We do. Yeah. If, if, Matt, yeah. if, if it was just up to Matt Hamner, uh, it would be yeah. uh, in the bag. Yes. Um, we've had a, a very interesting uh, community initiative over the last year uh, with a group that uh, is interested in having the city take over the electrical utility yeah. function on the island. And, so it's been a real That's a Puget Sound energy issue. Yeah, yeah, and it's been a real interesting yeah. Uh, yeah. process seeing yeah. that group work and uh, 
the city mm -hmm, has mm -hmm. decided to not go ahead with that yeah. project, but to study it seriously. Okay. So we're going to hire a consultant okay. and do some work. So okay. those are some uh, big city things that are happening. Um, there are, um, you know, a number of things that are happening outside the city government that mm -hmm. are equally exciting if, if you'd like to hear about them. And we've got a rowing club that's building a, Absolutely. a, a fantastic uh, Bring them out here rowing, to Dyes Inlet. Rowing facility uh, in Eagle Harbor. Uh, we've got a group called the Bainbridge Artisans Resource Network mm -hmm. that has mm -hmm. uh, raised significant money and broken ground mm -hmm. on, mm -hmm. a, on a great mm -hmm. facility yeah. that's going to be uh, an educational mm -hmm. center for uh, yeah. arts and crafts on the island. Um, You've got a museum. I know. I've, I've every, toured that museum. It's museum unbelievable. Museum of Art is a great, great yeah. community yeah. resource. Yeah. So, lots, lots going on. Yeah, very exciting. Um, can you share with us uh, your thoughts about how the city of Bainbridge Island and the Kitsap County government work to, together collaboratively? Uh, uh, I know I mentioned we, we serve on a number of boards together, certainly pu public health and other boards, the Housing Authority. Are you able to, to uh, maybe elaborate on some of the cooperation between Bainbridge Island and the Kitsap County government? Well, this, this has been one of the most um, enlightening and exciting things uh, from my standpoint mm -hmm. of getting involved in city government uh, because uh, I think that maybe because we are an island, I do live mm -hmm, on an mm -hmm, island. I think mm -hmm. a lot of people on Bainbridge think insularly. Um, and uh, getting involved in city government and understanding how um, the city and county mm -hmm, mm -hmm. work together in land use planning, setting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. global policies for land use planning. Comprehensive planning. Comprehensive planning. Um, and uh, in affordable housing, um, mm -hmm. working together and with transit mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. and transportation issues, um, and and really understanding how, um, although there are really divergent interests north and south, mm -hmm. how the county and the various other governmental entities mm -hmm. sitting down together have been able to mm -hmm. um, kind of prioritize necessary projects and and do a really effective job of getting their hands on the available funds and, and yeah. fairly allocating it north and south. It's just been very exciting. We could do a whole show on Highway 303 and Agapress Bridge yes, and the cooperation could. between right. the county and right. Bainbridge Island. We could even up the ante and do it on Highway yeah. 305. Yeah. But, is, uh, is there, is it, did I say 303 or 305? 305. 305, sorry, I said 303. Um, so is there anything else that you would like the public to know about Bainbridge Island or uh, the work that we do together and just kind of wrap this up? We're going to move on to, um, to Mayor Lent, but uh, I'd like to hear from you if there's anything I, else you'd like I'd, to add. I'd, I'd just like, I'd like everybody uh, both on the island and off the island <clears throat> to really um, understand and appreciate the fact that, um, that Kitsap County really is knit together more than people in Gorst and Port Orchard mm -hmm. and the south end of Bainbridge Island might think. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's a great place to live and mm -hmm. it's partly great because we're working together to make it that way. Well, I, I can't tell you, Val, how much Mayor Tolleson. Well, I'll be formal as we close down. It's been a pleasure talking to you and, and particularly letting the public know how much uh, involvement not only Bainbridge Island, but as you pointed out, with all of the cities and the whole county, the cooperation, cooperation we're doing together, and how we're doing that for the best, uh, best for all of our citizens, not just your city or our county. And uh, I'm proud to work with you and proud to, to be your friend. Thanks, Ed. So it's been great. Thank you. So stay tuned. We're coming back with Mayor Patty Lynn, who will talk about some of the same issues. Uh, back to Commissioner's Corner in uh, a very short while. Welcome back to Commissioner's Corner. I once again and. Ed Wolf, uh, Central Kitsap County Commissioner. Uh, with me today, we have Mayor Patty Lent in her beautiful conference room in, Nor in the Norm Dix Government Center. And I might add, I believe that Mayor Lent was in my position uh, when the Norm Dix Conference Center was uh, uh, either built or celebrated or both. Or both. By the way, this is Mayor <laughs> Patty Lent right here. Patty, welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Uh, Mayor Lent, welcome. Nice to see you. Um, what I've been trying to do and have done. Uh, with other mayors is to uh, in the county is to to understand what 
the different governments are like, number one, and number two, how we work together. So can we start out by you just telling the public, um, how did you get involved in politics? Local politics. Local politics. Is that mayor? mayor? <laughs> Anything. Local politics. I wasn't a politician 15 years ago, and um, I was asked if I would be interested in running for mm -hmm. District 2, District, District 3, three. Yeah. Um, Commissioner, and I had said no. My husband was going to retire, and I was going to take and mm -hmm. not have a commitment for four years. Well, um, they talked to my husband, and in doing so... This would be Doug. This would be Doug, and he is third generation in mm -hmm. Bremerton. Mm -hmm. He brought me 28 years ago from Tacoma, Pierce County, across that Narrows Bridge. Mm -hmm. But I fell in love with your Kitsap County. Our Kitsap County. Our Kitsap County. And um, he said, sure, if you're not going to beat her up, go ahead and uh, I'll support that. So we had a strong run. I became a county commissioner. And you're right, Ed, this building was built um, during my time as a commissioner, mm -hmm. and my name's on the outside as a commissioner, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the inside as a mayor. Yeah. And so that's um, pretty special, yeah. pretty exciting. Very special. I think at that time I was outside counsel to Kitsap County Coordinating Housing Authority mm -hmm. uh, when you were here and, and the others. So that's how you got involved in politics and have been in politics for local politics for quite a while now. Didn't go back into a re-election for commissioner. Yeah had an 18-month hiatus, and the mm -hmm. mayor of Bremerton mm -hmm. actually resigned to take another position with mm -hmm. the port, mm -hmm. left that position open, and it was a nonpartisan because you're pretty grassroots. Mm -hmm. um, as a mayor, you're so visible, and um, you really look at what the needs mm -hmm. are in your community, yeah. and from there you make your decisions. So I was elected in 2009. Mm -hmm. I finished out Carrie's term. and then was be Mayor Bozeman. Mayor Bozeman. Yes and was re-elected in 2013. be interesting for the public to, to understand and hear you say this, that uh, there are nonpartisan positions in Kitsap County. <laughs> We're in the election season, that's why I'm, uh, I'm raising that right and now. And they are judges and mayors. Yeah, yeah nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. So Patty, or Mayor Lynn, if you would tell us about the, the demographics of the city of Bremerton. By that I mean where do people live, what's the population, uh, whatever comes to your mind free-flowing. Sure. The city of Bremerton is the largest city in the county mm -hmm. in your district, and you have nearly all of us. Mm -hmm. um, it is actually, well, you have from 11th Street mm -hmm. North, mm -hmm. and then District 2 has from 11th Street and Kitsap Way South. Mm -hmm. We have 30 square miles. We have about 40,500 people mm -hmm. at this latest um, Evaluation compared to the county's 264,000. But right. being yeah. the largest city in the yeah. county, um, we are um, pretty active. When this building was built, um, many things that came into this building, it's mostly government. Only 5% mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. be leased out that is non governmental. Mm -hmm. And its location on the bus line for the population and for the needs of mm -hmm. vulnerable populations. Mm -hmm. um, public health is in this building. Mm -hmm. And we Housing serve on the uh, Public Health Board together. We do. Um, Housing Kitsap is here mm -hmm. and part of Bremerton Housing Authority. Okay. Okay. So as you talk about what makes up our city, we have um, 35 parks. Mm -hmm. um, I always thought as a county commissioner in your position that the airport would always remain in the county. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In 2008, our former mayor and mm -hmm. his staffing annexed the airport area mm -hmm. and that green space of 3,400 square um, um, acres, mm -hmm. and now it belongs to the city. So in 2012, we went through a comprehensive plan, and one of the best things that the city does did at that time was we went through all the EIS, mm -hmm. everything that has to do with improved land that's just um, unimproved at this time, is to go through the environmental all the programs the state mm -hmm. and the federal government requires. We did that, and so the five elements, if you were going to build mm -hmm. an industrial building mm -hmm. and have up to 6,500 employees, you could do that and get your permit in about a month's time. We should pay attention to that. <laughs> we should pay attention to that today. I, every time I've come into this office, or your office, or when Mayor Bozeman was here, I'm reminded that uh, I used to have a very good feeling looking right out the window across the street to a building called Wolf Law Offices, mm -hmm. which we recently, I do not have anymore. And the former mayor of Bremerton was, was my business partner, uh, mm -hmm. Lewis Smith at the time. 
He was, and he really, we, we named the boardwalk after him, mm -hmm. but just before his service um, was Gene Lobey, mm -hmm. and Gene, it was his kind of start. It's like what happened with Mayor Bozeman. Mm -hmm. A mayor will start, and then oftentimes another mayor or another commissioner. Mm -hmm. You're getting lots of kudos for that opening of the Buckland Hill. Mm -hmm. The things that you were able to take and mm -hmm. cut ribbons for were somewhat started before you were in office. Yeah. But it's great, isn't it, to take and um, celebrate. It's on my watch. <laughs> it's on your watch. watch. A lot of uh, staff time, uh, previous staff time, past staff time went into all of those efforts. Mm -hmm. Not just in my, in my district, your old district, the Silverdale Community Center, the campus, the Buckland Hill Bridge. Mm -hmm. Uh, many, many, many years have been going into this. So let's talk and enlighten the public, if you would, about your form of government here. Because I mentioned earlier, we, we had, I had a session, uh, of course, with uh, Mayor Val Tolson, and he talked about the city of Bainbridge Island and the city of Bainbridge Island government, the council, and the relationship. Can you talk to, to us, or the public, about uh, what uh, the government is here? We are a charter, charter city. So a charter city is different than a code city. Um, as Bremerton, we have a strong mayor elected by the public, and we have um, seven council members, and we have a municipal judge. We can only do what's in our charter. Mm -hmm. So we're a little bit limited to that. Having said that, we only I am administrative and like a CEO of a corporation, mm -hmm. and my council is legislative, and they set policy. Mm -hmm. Whatever they approve, I sign all the contracts. I make certain mm -hmm. that my seven divisions in administrative side carry out all of their wishes. Mm -hmm. You as a commissioner, you have all three. You have land use, you have legislative, and you have um, the policy. So the you do all yeah. of it, the executive yeah. branch. Yeah. Um, I am just administrative on my side of the branch, but I have veto power. I've only had to threaten twice, and my council wise enough to say, well, maybe we'll rethink this um, ordinance, yeah. and we didn't put it into effect. I, I believe, and I mean this with, with the greatest respect, Mayor, you have your hands in every part of the pie <laughs> in, the, in this city, because you have passion for the city, and you love the city, and you've been, you. here, been here a long time. So uh, Val Tolson, the mayor of Bainbridge Island, was telling us that that uh, he is uh, uh, selected, or the mayor is selected mm -hmm. every year mm -hmm. by city council. That, of course, is not the situation here. It's not the case um, on Bainbridge. And I will share with you that um, Bellevue is like that. Bellevue has uh, council members. And so when Kerry was mayor of Bellevue, mm -hmm. they selected him as an elected council mm -hmm. member to run. He had three terms mm -hmm. as mayor. Val will have two terms of mayor. Mm -hmm. and Is so that per year? No, they have. Um, they get two years two in a row. Okay. So normally on a four-year term, they can um, be elect, uh, selected mm -hmm. by their mm -hmm. peers. And your nonpartisan race is for four years. Four years, yeah. and I'm in my second term. Yeah. Yeah. So the seventh year of my term. Mine's partisan, and I'm in my second year also yes. of a four-year term. Let's talk about something I know that um, you just lighten up when anyone ask you about the, not just the priorities, I'd like to hear the priorities of the city, but what's going on in Bremerton actually? What's going on in terms of initiatives and development? So yeah, I told, she's lightening up. <laughs> um, first of all, we're really a progressive city. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we're forward thinking and people feel it's a Navy town. So knowing that our shipyard and naval base were here 10 mm -hmm. years before the city was incorporated, um, they've always had that footprint, and mm -hmm. it's a very large one. Mm -hmm. After 9-11, the naval base actually bought two blocks of our downtown city, mm -hmm. and they were just going to put in bullards to make it a little mm -hmm. bit safer around. Um, the former mayor, Carrie Bozeman, uh, worked with them, all of our DCD and the people in the city, mm -hmm. and said, we share such a large footprint. Mm -hmm. Could we make a park? And we still keep that distance from the shipyard entrance, mm -hmm. keep people from getting into it, and yet have some beautification in the city. Um, the Secretary of the Navy has been out when mm -hmm. I was on watch, mm -hmm. and actually we walked around and they wished more of their naval bases could mm -hmm. have the relationship that we have with our shipyard and naval base. And you do, and you're at every naval function, I believe. Remember before politics, I was um, a Navy League member. Mm -hmm. That's the first Still thing are. I joined. A Na I'm lifetime membership. And we went to every change mm -hmm. of command mm -hmm. without being the mayor. Mm -hmm. Since the mayor, though, on Armed Forces Day, 
I host a naval reception. Mm -hmm. We have about 150 of the commanders of all the different ships and subs and areas, and it's a time before we go over to um, the gala. Okay. So it's pretty exciting. And didn't you recently, was it this year or last year, um, participate in the dedication of the USS Bremerton? What I did is I was able to see two young sailors go through a ceremonial to receive their dolphins. Mm. Um, and that was very impressive. In 2010, in my term, we adopted the USS Bremerton. Mm -hmm. It was built in 1981. It's a submarine Virginia class. It's actually home ported in Pearl Harbor. They've been here twice. Mm -hmm. They'll come back again before we actually decommission them about 2019. Okay. Very, very special. Mm -hmm. So uh, hone in, if you would, focus on your priorities as mm -hmm. mayor from this day forward. From this day forward. I can't get too much for after next year because mm -hmm. I'll yeah. have to run right, right now. But right now, um, we've done some things because of the large proportion of people mm -hmm. either being homeless mm -hmm. or finding their way to Kitsap County. Mm -hmm. So two of the things that I'm very proud of that we're taking care of that is, number one, we passed a no panhandling law. The people that would stand on our arterials and reach out to get money from cars going by, we said, you know, that's not a safe mm -hmm. place to be. And it does give a, a poor name to the city. Being the largest city, we probably have a little more um, involved in mm -hmm. our population. Mm -hmm. So we did that. And then we voluntarily got all of our 7-Elevens and our little corner stores not to sell that heavy beer, the mm -hmm. tall beer for mm -hmm. a dollar a bottle, mm -hmm. if someone was addictive to alcohol or had an addiction, that's where they get their first shot in the morning. Mm -hmm. And so from 6 a.m. to 10 o'clock in the morning, nothing is sold. And they voluntarily did that. Mm -hmm. And so it was something that we worked with our police chief. Um, we're trying to make things safe and more comfortable for the residents that live here. But that's on that side. On the other side of growth, where um, we've done a lot of new streetscapes. Mm -hmm. We've um, gotten a lot of new housing mm -hmm. units, whether they're apartments or single family. Last year alone, we raised the assessed value of Bremerton by $82 million. Mm -hmm. That was one of my strong goals, was mm -hmm. to make not only us mm -hmm. worth more, but take pride in all mm -hmm. the different communities. We have seven districts, and we're trying to reach out and do something in each one. Okay. So I want to give you the opportunity, especially with the public to hear. I think we've got a couple minutes left. Uh, talk about the, the development that's going on, because I, we moved here, my wife and I moved here in 1997, and we've seen a lot of growth and development, your administration and prior administrations. Talk to us about development, in at least in the immediate area around here, we'll have, real estate. We'll have over 1,000 units come on board within the next 18 months. We've gotten five breweries. We've gotten um, independent businesses, mm -hmm. a lot to do with mm -hmm. hardware, two mm -hmm. hardware stores okay. that we didn't have. In fact, for 25 years, it's only been three years ago that the Purpose mm -hmm. Boutique opened up. Mm -hmm. And so we're seeing just a wealth of uh, little businesses pop up. We have a bookstore now. Mm -hmm. We have mm -hmm. uh, a remodeled um, sure. hobby store that is the largest gaming place mm -hmm. on the West Coast. And you have Spyglass Hill? And well, Spyglass is going to open up um, mm -hmm. pretty soon. They're in the mm -hmm. process of 10. I'm, I'm seeing from, from uh, our production staff that we have a minute left. So oh, dear. I would like you to talk about the relationship and the cooperative efforts between the county and your city, if you will. We couldn't have done what we did in Sewering, Gorst, if we didn't have a mm -hmm. collaboration. Um, your Eric Baker and Angie Silva were very involved mm -hmm. along mm -hmm. with RDCD mm -hmm. and that cooperation is going mm -hmm. to allow us to mm -hmm. actually annex Gorst mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we're working right now side by side in the next few months and definitely next year annex those four islands that have been kind of a problem yeah. child in the county yeah. so working together we can make that happen. It is happening. Great. Yeah. Thank you Mayor. You're very welcome. Nice to have nice you to in be Commissioner's here. Corner. Thank you, Mayor Tolleson and Mayor Lynn, for joining me today on, on Commissioner's Corner. Today you've learned a lot about different types of government, city government versus county government, and how we work together on different projects. And I have to tell you, I'm very excited about the relationship between all of the cities in Kitsap County and Kitsap County and, and our collaborative, cooperative efforts. Uh, I believe it's working for the whole county. So thank you for stopping by, those out in the audience, and I look to see you next time on Central Kitsap Commissioner's Corner.